So uh, this is uh, more actually kind of simple uh, bookkeeping involved that if you know steps in the reactions and you know equilibrium constants, you can calculate an overall equilibrium constant for that reaction. So you can write a reaction as a sum of different components. And so up here, we, uh, we are going to try to add these first two equations to get this net equation. So we have two uh, gas P, uh, 3 Cl2 going to 2 Pl C3, and that's equilibrium 1. And so then in the next reaction, some of that is being consumed, acting, reacting with another Cl2, giving you PCl5. And the net reaction we're interested in uh, has 2P5 Cl2s going to 2 PCl5. All right. How do, what do I have to do before I can add these uh, together effectively and have things cancel out? I need to multiply what? Second equation by two. Yeah. So um, to get that to work, I would need to have that be, uh, have twos there. Then this is going to cancel out. And these will add up, so we have five and then we have two of the main products. So if I do that, what, and I have the equilibrium constant for one and for two, how am I going to get the equilibrium constant for three? I'm going to multiply K1 by K2 and K2. So I'm going to have to multiply K2 in there twice because there's two of those. We've multiplied that up. So it's, if you have uh, different parts of reactions and you can sum them together, then you can multiply out the individual k's to get the new value of k. So that's something that's just useful that you'll uh, run into in doing these, these types of problems. All right. 